Hi everyone, I'm Leticia Baleiro and today I'm going to talk about Flutter, the basics. So hope you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe and let's be referenced together. <laughs> Flutter is a toolkit developed by Google to, to build apps, mobile apps, web apps and also desktop. So it means that you can write only one code and it runs in iOS, Android, and Ubuntu, uh, Windows, Mac, and also browsers. So that's amazing, you can write just one code and it does it all for you. It started at 2017 and it's getting bigger. It started with mobile apps. It's a, a Google toolkit for mobile apps, but it over time it grow it have grown a lot and now we can do almost anything with flutter it all started with ios in 2008 and there was iphone and apple made ios for iphones and then after one year there was android and it was hard for people to build two codes for both platforms there was born React Native, Ionic, and other frameworks to write just one code and run in both platforms. So after a while, there was Flutter that made it all easier. You can write one code and it's compiled to machine code. So that's why it's so fast. You save things and it magically appears in your screen updated. So it's Pretty awesome means you write code in dark language and it compiles to machine code so that's why it's that much faster. And now we have Flutter Web. So Flutter was as I said it was it started with mobile applications and then there was web so it's something that had a lot of performance issues at first but now we have we have Flutter Web so much better in Flutter 2.0. It, it was released in the stable channel in March. So it's pretty awesome. I want to show you uh, uh, an example they have shown us at the at this event. So you can see how how good it is Flutter Web right now. So it's an a website they made with Flutter Web. That is not a video. They say here. That is not a video, just a second, it's loading. Okay, they say here, this is not a video. They use animations to build this. So that's why it's so awesome. I will show you. And I want to show you some code so you can see how easy it is to build things with Flutter. So Flutter has something called widgets. They are components that you put together and it's like pieces from a puzzle that you can you can put together and you have your screen. So uh, first I need to add my first widget, my first component and First, I need to add material apps, so this way I can have access to all Flutter tools. So that's our first thing. Then I can make a page. I made a home page, and it's another widget. So everything is widget. And I have here I have that container thing I said. 
and I'm going to add a text and I'm going to add a text to this container and I will run it and you you see how it, it looks like okay so it's pretty ugly right so if you use just a container and a text inside it it looks pretty ugly so that's why I'm adding a nice scaffold this way I can it it looks better it's like a page, a white page, where you can add things to the to its body. It's that scaffold that has a body and a nav bar and many other elements. So here, when I add it in a scaffold, it looks much better. So it goes to the body. So it's this part. And if I add a nav bar, it will go here. So you can tell how fast it is to view things and you just hit save and instantaneously it's updated in your screen it's really really fast and this is called hot hello hot hello is a is this tool that you use to save and it updates so here i have my app bar and i can add to that app bar to the title of that app bar anything i want so I can add any widget I want, any component. So I added a text, so it says Flutter is awesome. <laughs> and I hit save and it's right there. So I can add an icon instead of a text. So it's just, I can add any icon I want. It's very flexible. So I, ha so I have another cool thing here. It's a column, you already know what is a column, right? So a column takes a list of children, so it can take many widgets and I can add how many things I want. So I'm going to show you many texts inside it and I can position that text whatever I want. So here I can add a center widget I, and it goes to the center. But I can also use something called main axis alignment. So the main axis alignment of a column is the vertical vertical axis. So if I change this main axis alignment to be centered, it goes to the center of the screen. So it's right here. And if I change to the end, it goes here to the end. So it's very easy to move things in Flutter and it's very fast to move so and I also have the cross axis alignment that I can use to control the other axis the horizontal axis that is the opposite of the main right so I can use this but as you see I added here cross axis alignment dot end and it's not here yet it, this is because the column the container and the column all of those widgets tries to to fit the same size as their children so the column here has this size of this widget so if i add cross axis on end it's already at the end of that space so I have to change the container size, this way this container will take the whole screen. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to change the size to be the size of the screen. And now it goes to the end, because now this container takes this whole space. So that's the cross axis alignment. So I can show you, I can also show you the row. Here I changed my column to be a row and it's the opposite, right? So the row I can use to place one widget next to each other. So here you can see it, I can change the its main axis I'm to be spaced between, for example, so it adds a space between them, <laughs> right? 
um, I can play around with these things, I can change its height. So if I change, it's the same as the as, as I said before, so the row. So before I did that, it was the row was just this is small. Then I uh, I changed its height and after that it takes the whole screen. And it goes to the end because the cross axis alignment for that row is end. So everything is at the end of the page. So that's columns and rows and text. So with that, with columns, rows, containers and text, you can do almost anything in Flutter. That's the basic ones that you can use to build almost everything. Now I'm going to show you how we can manage the state of our screen. So the state is, some, is what we see on our screen. So if something changes, the state of our screen has to change. So I'm going to show you an example. So um, here I will add a function called increase number and I will change a variable number, uh, uh, an integer with that function. So I will increase one increase by one every time I call the function. So here I'm going to I'm going to display in my screen that number. So it's here it's very small and I'm going to uh, give uh, a bigger size. So it's very simple to change things so I can uh, add a style and I can change the font size. It's very fast to do that. So here we can see that it's, it starts at zero and I use something called gesture detector that widget can, that widget is used to, to, to give, uh, to give any, any child that we want the possibility to perform an action every time it's tapped. So Okay, now I have I can add the on tap param. So I every time I will call this function, I will print in my console here that number. So you can see it's changing, right? And here I call that function every time I tap this text. So you can see here that I'm tapping this text and it's changing its number. The variable is changing, but you can't see here the number changing, right? So it, it doesn't do that automatically for you. You have to call something called set state to do that change. So Flutter is smart enough to change only changing your screen only what is changing here so it doesn't rebuild your whole screen so that's why you have to call set state for that part of your code so when that that variable changes it's going to update your screen and that's that's why you call that set state it only changes that part that's why it's so fast just changes a small piece of your code. Now it's every time I press here, it changes here, right? You can see it now. So that's set stage. I also want to show you some animation. It's very easy to make animations using Flutter because it already has many pre-built animations. So you can use very easily. You can change, you can uh, make transitions between pages. I'm going to show you how to make a transition between one page to another. And you can do, you can make it something moves from the top of your screen, for example, to the to the bottom, and it goes like it goes very smooth. So it's very easy to do that. You can use pre-built widgets. I'm going to add this photo to my my dependencies, so it's a picture, a logo, Flutter logo picture that I have to add to my dependencies 
and I can add to another widget, another component called image <laughs> and giving that path, that image path, it just show, show that image in your screen so every time I will press the same button I just change the string of the button and every time I press that button is going to take me to another page so that's why I use navigator navigator.push and it takes me to another page I will create this new page and I will put this new page inside another uh, another place and again I'm going to add a scaffold and inside that scaffold centered I will put that image so I'm going to use the same image in both screens and I just have to pass that path that image path and I will make them I will make them different just the size of them so the first image will have a 30 pixels height and the second one will have uh, 100 so they are different and I will run my app again okay that's it so I have a small picture here when I click at this button it takes me to another page that the picture is bigger but I want this picture to grow so I want a nice um, transition between those pages so I just have to wrap my widget, my component with something called Hero that is a previewed animation for page transitions so I wrap my image inside a hero and I give it a tag this is something that tells Flutter that this picture is the same as the picture from the other page so I have to add the same tag to both of them so I added a Flutter tag I could name it whatever name I want so I I choose to call it Flutter and here I add the same tag to the other picture so and now you can see I just have to reload and I click right and you see this picture growing and shrinking and I think it's pretty awesome how you can view this easily some animation you make your app look much better right so that's one kind of animation you can use another times like animated container for example uh, there are many widgets you can use to make those those things move around you know in March there was released Flutter 2.0 and I wanted to tell you something really cool that is happening they have announced in the event, the March event that happened, that Toyota is using Flutter now inside cars. It's something called Embedded Systems. You can make a Flutter app inside almost anything, as long as, as that, that thing is smart enough to, to receive an application. So they are using inside cars to build their own apps. So that's pretty awesome and as I said before web and desktop are now in on the stable channel 